wish they needed that. time on the force but that pier that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity i gotta say it's the second worst thing i've ever seen poor bastard down there is torn in two by the looks of it you think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions what could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there it was about three years ago up in malibu on this guy on the beach but like i don't know an animal attack shark bite no I Seen shark bites or something different. Like whatever killed him. The head was missing, the hands were missing. And, and there were these huge slashes. But. Bullshit! No, no. The guy was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon. I'm like something was watching me. I swear on my badge today, there was something just out of sight. Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! All right. Or a vampire. Woo! Get it. See, this is why you didn't get invited to an ass wedding. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind, you wouldn't understand. Uh, e e evening. I, I, I don't know. Uh, t t talk to E. Guy without a shirt. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You got a mighty strange way of saying things, mate. But if you be looking for those nasty looking blades all we're stomping through here, you should try up there through the chain link gate. You mean you ain't here to run us off? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Clang. See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago. It's well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. 
Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. And I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Clinically, yes, but honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Aye, most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. My kids glass with him. They've had it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. Do you know who the head vampire is? Huh? You mean he's around here? Where? And, and what game is he playing? I, I really need to find him. If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Okay, but first I have another question. question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Unicorn blood? I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Uh, come back in a little while. Had me. No, no, you are going to China. Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. No, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh God, run! Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps. 
puts his hand on the bone. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Murder. Yes, the killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Then ask again. The Crimson Ship. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs? He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Men, everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Those with a lot to say, usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Don't open it. I see the future, not the past. Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. E evening. M mur murder No, no, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Yeah. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it.
Any of those items you mentioned? Uh, oh, okay. I guess. Here. Uh, I'll buy as much as you've got. I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. Yeah, here you go. Uh, now where can I find a head vampire? You won't have to live like this anymore. I'm going to kill the head vampire. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Ah, oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. That Astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. If there are, I don't know him. But about this Tong. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes the Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking bro for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Who exactly? Therese. Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. All right, Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, 
I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Who exactly? I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Who exactly? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me strong. Who exactly? Radio thing, you're listening to the Dead of Night. Well, looks like we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's see. Email me and I know you should be the last one. Call her, you've got the first shot at dead tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working late shift. I'm happily married to my work, and I have a wife, too. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now, I'm so sorry. What'll it be, honey? Are you the health inspector? You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. What'll it be, honey? Is that a trick question? No, no, I have never seen that. Hey, 
pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She let the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Or another popular one. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at dead tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh... Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working late shift here at the... Uh, Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Keymaster, huh? Might be worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Keymaster. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know, it sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift, because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> you mean Santa Monica? You sure got a strange way of saying things. This old burg has gone downhill in the past few years, if you ask me. Lots of shady types moving in, which ain't bad for business, you know what I mean? You're talking about bail jumpers? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we got plenty of those. That's why I got a bounty hunter for. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Sure, yeah, honey, what is it? Several random people to a taste test. Taste test. Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Oh, my gosh. Is that Wico's fish? Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Sure. Oh, oh, oh. 
Seriously, job these up here. Here, try this one. Sure, honey, what, what is it? Mm. Motherfucking great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. What the fuck is this shit? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Cause that's some good fucking chicken. I mean, friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken, you'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally nude object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am? I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! <laughs> She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. <laughs> Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from the town... Something I can help you with. I guess. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Goodbye then.
Thank you. 